Good evening, everybody. Happy cooking day. It is March 9th. And I'm so excited about this weather because it got cold and it got rainy and it's soup night. So I'm so happy it's not like 70 degrees outside because it would be harder to eat soup, but it's cold. So it's perfect soup weather. We are making a broccoli cheddar soup tonight. We are, I'm gonna be making it dairy free and there was the ingredients in there for you to choose to make it dairy free if you wanted to. Either way, the process will be the same. But then we're making a not quite as healthy uh, Swiss cheese loaf of bread. It will be delicious. And that will bake in the oven while we are finishing up our soup. So a couple things. Here it comes, friends. In case you've never been here before, here it comes. A couple reminders. Number one, the main purpose of our program, really all of them, but especially cooking class, is independence. So we want all of our friends out there that are TRS participants to be doing the work. So moms, dads, friends, support people. Love you. We're so glad we have you. Make sure our friends are doing the majority of the work and that you are helping as little as possible to make sure that they are as safe as possible. So that's that part. Number two, we are all in this together. Some of us are by ourselves in our kitchen. Some of you, some of you have support. Some of you have a lot of support and that's fantastic. But we are gonna make sure that everybody sticks together. And so that might mean if you have a lot of support or if you're really quick with a knife or whatever, you might have some downtime and that's okay. Just hang out. Just hang out. It'll be fine. There's that guy just kind of walking through. <laughs> Having a little stroll. Anyway, um, so we have a little system to check in with everybody and just know that we're not going to leave anyone behind because that is not a fun feeling to be left behind. So that's that part. And then the last part is that I can't see you guys out there in Zoom land. It'd be fun if I could, but it would be a whole different kind of experience for all of us. <laughs> so we do it this way so that we can just kind of stay focused. But that being said, I can't see if you're using the best kind of knives, if you're using your hot pads, how you're setting your oven, that kind of thing. So I'm going to give you lots of instructions and just follow along. Hopefully you stay safe. We'll have a good time. We'll have a delicious dinner. So I think that's it. I think that's it. There might be more, who knows? But we are gonna start with, oh, I do have one more thing. So usually I'm, well, sometimes a little more set up than this, tonight I'm not. But most kitchens have at least two counters. So it is my suggestion that you move all of your stuff to one space so that you have one space for prepping. And as we need stuff, we're gonna move it over here, prep with it, use it up, cut it up, and then we will put it away. And that way you'll know what you've used. You don't have a bunch of stuff in your way and it'll help keep us all together because you're not like fumbling for stuff. If you just have only what you need right in front of you. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. So let's wash our hands, 20 seconds, warm water, front and back, thumbs, all the things. Here we go. All right, I don't know why I folded my towel all cute. <laughs> Just to like take it off and on the hanger a gajillion times. That's okay. That is okay. All righty, all righty. All right, all right. So friends, we are going to start with bread. And I think I saw that Andrea, that you guys are not making bread. And that's okay. If you're not making bread, that's okay. I hope you're making bread. Some of you, it's gonna be delicious. I have a feeling and I don't eat a lot of bread and I really don't eat a lot of cheese, but it's happening inside. So the bread cooks in the oven and we're not gonna cook it yet, but I wanna prep it now and like get it out of the way. So that's what we're gonna start with. So I'm gonna just move my little broth here. The first thing we gotta do, you guys know how I like to prep. Here's my system. The bread is optional. You don't have to make bread. So if you're not making bread, just hang out. I love to prep so that we can then just pile everything together when we're done, right? So we are going to get 
our block of Swiss cheese. That's all we need right now is Swiss cheese. And then you're gonna need a cutting board and a knife. So Swiss cheese, here comes my knife lecture. Swiss cheese, I treat it like, or any hard cheese, whatever. Um, I treat it like I do a big vegetable. I feel like a bigger knife is better. It's safer. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my lecture about knives because I like to. Big knives scare some people, but you have more control with a big knife. There's more area to put your hands. There's more, it's bigger, so you can add more pressure. When you use a teeny tiny like little steak knife and you have to like saw at something a hundred times, that's when you could hurt yourself. So we're going big, friends. We're going big. Okay. Hi. Oh. We have to prep one more thing. You know what I think we should do? Hold on. Hold on. Sometimes I think I think things through. Oh, that's fun, Mark. You can just cut it up. We're actually going to start with the bread. And that's fine, too. Shredded works, mozzarella works, whatever, friends. Good thing. So here's why I just changed my mind. <laughs> because when we cut up the cheese, we're going to stick it in the bread. So we might as well get the bread ready. So. I've had lots of messages from you, lots of you sending me messages about bread. And I just love you all. This is the bread I got. Whatever you got will be just fine. If you have sliced bread, you have a whole different situation. So if you have sliced bread, I gotta process that. Hopefully none of you have sliced bread. Hopefully I know some of you have like rolls and that'll be fine. Maybe some of you even have like a loaf, like a baguette thing, and that'll be fine too. This is what I have, okay? Now I have to give you another story about knives. And I don't have a garbage bowl yet. I need a garbage bowl. So for bread, there really are bread knives. I did not know this at one point in my life. I gotta find my bread knives are very long, they're skinny, and they have the serrated edge on them. And the reason they do that is so that you can cut through the bread without smashing it. Sometimes you're gonna smash your bread down. We don't want smashy bread. So this is a bread knife. Hopefully you have one of that. If you have rolls, some of you have rolls, that's fine. Just do what we're doing, but you'll do it a little bit on each roll and that'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, bread, knife, cutting board. This is all we need right now. My garbage bowl. So here's what we're gonna do. If you have bread like this, you're all set because it's helpful. We're basically gonna make like a little checkerboard on our bread that we're gonna stuff cheese into. So we are not gonna cut slices. You're not cutting all the way through. That will just ruin the experience. So I'm just gonna do this. We got time. If you're ready, great. If you're not, it's fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the bread and you're gonna stop before you get to the bottom. We're gonna do this a few times this way and a few times this way. It's okay if you have a different kind of bread, it's fine. You guys, I love you. I don't need to know, just cut your bread. If you have sliced bread, we have a we have a situation. If you have sliced bread, you're gonna want shredded cheese. I don't know what that's gonna look like. I'm just inventing that in my head. So, but if you have rolls, if you have a big long loaf, you're still gonna do what I'm doing. You're just gonna do it on your bread, okay? It's gonna be great. So we're gonna cut slices in our bread. Not all the way to the bottom, right? And then after I go this way, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna make it hard on myself just to show you. And we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna end up with like a checkerboardy kind of situation, right? But we are not going all the way through. Don't try to rip it. I'm gonna make a mess. That's what we're doing, friends. We're slicing bread. Here we go. 
I just want to eat all this bread. <laughs> I love bread. I never eat it. Woo! Don't do what I do and do that little half slice because now it's harder to cut. <laughs> it will be hard when you turn your bread the other direction. It's going to be hard. The pieces are going to move on you. So just take your time. <laughs> yep, yep. And you don't want to make them too thin. You'll be here all night, like one inch or so. <laughs> this little slice I made on the end is making my life difficult. That's okay. I can handle difficult. There we go. Okay, so I got all my slices in one direction. <laughs> and now I'm going to slice it the other way. It's going to be harder. Here we go. I love you, Brad. <laughs> Try not to smash it too hard. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, there we go. Okay, here's a secret. If you kind of push, once you go to the other direction, you got to kind of squeeze it together. It let me cut it better. So just kind of like, if you can, you know, I'm trying to grab all this and hold it together. That helps a little, if you can. <laughs> Awkward. You guys, we're not going for perfection. It's not an art project. We're going to put cheese and schmutz all over it. So just cut it up. <laughs> Come on, Brad. <laughs> you guys, we can do this. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. I'm just going one more. That's it. It's like a blooming onion. Hey, there's my bread. You guys, oh, let's talk about pictures real quick. Cookbook. When I'm putting picture recipes in the cookbook, I like to put pictures of you guys. So make sure you send me, Amber, you made it. Make sure you send me pictures of like the bread and the soup, two different recipes. Okay. Oh, look, this piece is trying to escape. So this is what your bread looks like. It's a mess. It's a mess. That's okay. No. I just want to eat it. Um, and we're done with the bread knife after this until you need it for dinner. So you can put this away. Mm -hmm. And you know what else I want to do? Crumbs, 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 crumbs. After this, let's set ourselves up for success, okay? I'm gonna get out a baking sheet and my tin foil. We're gonna build this bread right where it goes so we don't have to move it. I think I wanna put mine in a pan. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna put mine in a pan. You can put it on a baking sheet. It's fine if it's smashy, <laughs> it's all good. Um, you can put on a baking sheet or a pan, whatever you want, but we're gonna get tin foil because that's gonna wrap it. Make sure you get a big enough piece to wrap your bread, not just to wrap your pan. I'm gonna test it. There you go. I'm just happy. My bread. <laughs> I think I got enough tin foil. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick my bread on here so that while we work on it, I don't have to keep moving it because it's fragile. Fragile. When my stomach hurts in a little bit, remind me I ate bread. All right. So when you guys are done prepping your bread and you got your pan ready, bread ready, pan ready. Give me a B. Eat your bread. 
have so many people that said that. That's fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good, good. No rush, friends. I'll just stand here and eat bread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Uh huh. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Keep them coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not doing bread. Good to know. Thank you. So I'm not waiting for you. 10, 11, 12. Very good. I know Andrew's not doing bread. 13, 14 for Jack. <laughs> Oh, 15, uh-huh. Okay, so there's like 10 more of you, think, I think, doing your bread, which is great. You're like, I'm gonna get this thing ready. Oh, that we should do that real quick. Nice, you guys, good job. Keep it coming. Uh-huh. B and P. <laughs> I like your style, girl. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. This is so interesting. I'm so excited for this bread. Very good, you guys are awesome. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our butter out of the fridge so that it starts to get soft. So we need, how much do I think? Half a stick of butter. Yeah, quarter cup, which is half a stick. So if you have a stick of butter, in case you don't know about butter, it has teaspoons on the side and also cups and measuring cups and whatnot. So a stick of butter, standard stick of butter is a half a cup. So we need a quarter cup. So I'm gonna chop this baby in half real quick. And I'm gonna look at my, I cut on the line so that I know where to cut. But my line, my line started off the end of my stick, not half off, I cut it in half. And later, we're gonna put this in the microwave with some other stuff. So I'm gonna open it and put it in a little bowl and just let it sit here. And you put the other piece back in the fridge. Pop, pop. In case you're new and you don't know about a garbage bowl, it's the greatest thing in the whole wide world. I love it. Okay, so bread is just sitting, or I mean, what's that? Butter, just sitting. Next up is cheese. Cheese. If you have shredded cheese, you're done. <laughs> if you have sliced cheese, I would still, I would cut it into pieces. And if you have a block of cheese, then we got work to do. So we're gonna start working on our cheese. We only need eight ounces. And my block of cheese is 16 ounces. So I'm gonna do half a block of cheese. My son will be very happy. He loves Swiss cheese. So do I. Who am I kidding? So do I. So I'm just going to cut my cheese in half. There we go. Mm, I love you. I'm just like, I'm just going to take away. Okay. 
cheese, cheese, cheese. So what we're going to do with this cheese is we're going to cut it into little cubes. So, and I have a lot of slits in my bread, so I'm going to make a decent amount of cubes. How much for the shredded? I guess I would still do eight ounces. I mean, honestly, you can kind of just do what you want. So with all the cheese, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up, or if you have shredded, that's fine. And we're going to stick it in our slits of our bread. So if you have shredded cheese and you want to do that, you can. You can just start kind of sticking them in there. And honestly, Elizabeth and anybody else that has shredded cheese, I wouldn't even measure it. I would just like sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle until you like how it looks. But for the rest of us, I'm going to cut this thing in stripes. So knife down on the thing. If you're using a big one, I hope you're using a big one. And you're just going to press down on the front, press down on the back. Give a little wiggle. Down the front, down the back. Wiggle, wiggle. All the way down. Better in my way. Wiggle, wiggle. Bing. Boop. Very good. Now I got a pile of cheese slices. I feel like a dealer. It's like <laughs> anyway. All right. With this one little, it looks like a deck of cards, right? I'm gonna cut him in half. Same way. Turn it sideways, and I'm going to cut this. I'm probably going to cut it in thirds. And now I have little pieces of cheese, little baby cubes of cheese. Do you know how hard it is to eat this? That's what we're going to do. Cut it, cut it into cubes. I'm going to do half and some chunks. It's just I love cutting cheese. It's so satisfying. Like, yep. Except I just cut those different sizes. Oh well. I should cut a little extra little baby piece and be like, oh, that's too small to use. Mmm. <laughs> Why is Swiss cheese so good? Oh, sorry, I heard Nanda. Swiss cheese is so it is good. Okay. Once your cheese is cubed up, and bring our little bread down here. We are going to use this knife a thousand times. So I'm just going to leave it here. We're just going to stick it in the slits. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh, but it's making me laugh. We're just gonna, you know, peel open your bread and stick it in there. I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like I'm hiding Easter eggs. Maybe that's what's making me laugh. And I don't know why I'm being random because then I'm gonna forget where I stuck it. I should probably go in order down the row. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be like, where'd that cheese go? This is bad. You guys, I eat really healthy. This is not it. But but the rule is, right, Jack? The rule is 80-20. 80-20, healthy, 80% healthy, 20% live your life. That's the rule. Right, Jack? You learned that today. Actually, I knew that before, but we, we heard it more today. <laughs> okay. This is a lot of cheese. <laughs> Don't eat, <it>, baby. <laughs> this is like, ah! this is so exciting. Oh, shoot. It's stuck to my fingernail. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you guys having as much fun as I'm having? This is like so ridiculous. I feel like I'm like sneaky hiding my cheese. Shoot. <laughs> So you do the little outside edges too. I almost forgot about those. Oh my god, I cannot wait to eat that. This, that, this, whatever. It's making it so puffy. You need cheese. You get some cheese, and you get some cheese. <laughs> Is there any slime with no cheese? Uh oh, if there's no cheese, I'm gonna have to eat it. No, don't. 
I don't know where to put this one. Right there. Right there. That is so fun. Right? I know, me too. <laughs> it's like more like six months. So crazy. Woo! Ah, I just found another piece. <laughs> oh my God. Where'd I put it? I don't know. I don't know. Granny's cheese. I feel like I'm doing like hair or something. Like, wait, you need to. I don't know where to put it. Why is this so fun, you guys? Are you loving this? This is so fun to me. <sighs> Again, that was really like extra fun for me. <laughs> okay, when your cheese is all hidden, let me know. Put a little C in the chat for hidden cheese and we will start working on the next part. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> Cheese, 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 cheese. <laughs> All right, there's four. Oh, I'm one of the four, so I guess we'll call it three. Ooh, you guys are quick. I looked away and there was a lot more coming in. Focus, Jen. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. We didn't even bother yet, Karen. Because we're not going to cook it yet. So I didn't even bother yet. Eight. We're just getting it ready so it's out of the way and we can start it later. Nine. You guys, was that so fun? Was it just me or was that cheese like extra fun? <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention you guys. Man. <laughs> With your, um, yay, Joshy. <laughs> um, with your chat. Thank you, Loretta. I thought so too. Um, with your chat, we have Jack on the other side out there, our lovely little Jacqueline Lee's out there. And so if you have a question that's like a general recipe question or direction thing, she's out there being my extra set of eyes and ears. So if your chat says all panelists and attendees, then um, she can also see it. If it just says to all panelists, that's just me. Oh, it's going to be so good, Amanda. It's going to be so good. And yeah, mom, I mean, what are you going to do, right? Except honestly, I already kind of feel it. <laughs> I guess I need other food. <laughs> All right, let me count my C's again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. No problem. Get it, Dennis. Stuff that cheese, brother. <laughs> it's all good. 14 or 15 or something like that. 16, 17, 18. We're close. We're close. We are close. There's like five of you, I think, stuff and cheese. Stuff and cheese. I think I put my own letter in the chat just to me. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Oh, well. All right. So, good job. Tina, while we're waiting for the last few cheese stuffers, let me just let you know what's going to happen next. We do have some, we have an onion to chop. Ooh, if we were smart, you guys. No, I'm not going to be confusing. Um, We have an onion to chop and some stuff to measure. And that's going to be our drizzle. Our drizzle is going to be some butter, some seasoning, and some baby onion going on there and then we're gonna wrap it up and then we'll cook it a little bit. Doesn't that sound fantastic? <laughs> I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, you can. I think Elizabeth, if you only have one onion, I would probably use it for the soup and use onion powder for the bread. That's what I would do if that was me. That's my suggestion. All right, friends, bread cheese stuffers. We're gonna, you can't wait along with me? I hope you can. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm gonna start grabbing stuff because I have nothing ready. So I'm gonna start grabbing stuff. So if you're done, grab along with me. We'll make a little pile. Actually, let's just do our onion, right? Let's just do our onion, let's get it. So uh, not yet, we'll do it later. Don't. 
For those of you really worried about your oven, don't worry about your oven. Don't worry. We're not going to waste the gas, the energy. But let's go grab an onion. And it says to use a small one. I think I only have giant ones. So I might just use half. So um, a small onion. That's what we need. Okay, mine are ginormous. I got them at Costco. Yeah, one is for, yes, you're right. I, I'm sorry, you guys, I was weird on my shopping list. I noticed that the other day, that I put one onion in one place and one onion in the other. Sorry about that. One's for the soup, one's for the bread. If you have, so you should have two. You want your smaller one. If you have gigantic onions like I do, I mean, they're huge. They're like melons. Then um, I'm just gonna use half for this. I love it. All right, friends. So we are going to chop our onion. You need your big knife again. And actually, we're going to put this in um, in our butter bowl. This is going to be our gathering bowl. So if you have a whole onion, chop it in half so we can peel it. Mine's already chopped in half. So remember, you just want a small one. So you choose what you feel best about here. And we're gonna peel off the skin. <laughs> that was so weird. We're gonna peel off the skin. And then sometimes there's this weird little inner layer. I don't like that. And then we're gonna chop off. <laughs> this is like a full ponytail or like a piggy tail. What is that? Chop that off. I have a live vacuum cleaner eating stuff. That I'm nice. Yeah, you do, Amanda. <laughs> I bet Missy loves it when you cook. Okay, so for this onion, for this chopping experience, we want tiny, tiny choppies. So I'm going to chop it like I normally do, I think. So this one feels like it's going to get difficult on me. We'll see. I'm just going to do my little baby rainbows like I like to do, one half at a time. Keep your fingers out of the way. Aha. Uh -huh. So when I get to the end, I just have this weird little thing. I'm going to make my bridge over the top, squeezing both sides. There we go. Okay. And now I'm just going to get wild. We want tiny pieces. So, no, you're not going to let me play, are you? So I'm just going to lay my slice down, my rainbow. I'm going to lay him down on the counter. And just do baby slices up the rainbow. And at some point I have to turn it because it's not doing anything. So you can do the fancy way where you leave the tip of your knife down and you push it through. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Let me show you how small I got. I got this small. I might even want it smaller. You guys know I like to cook my onions, so this is going to be hard for me. So little baby onions, I'm dropping it all over. Little baby onions. That's what we're doing. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna lay my rainbow down. And just tip the top. The top is sitting down on the cutting board. And I'm just gonna push the bottom down. Push, 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 and slide it over. Bing, 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 bing. Any pieces I don't like, I just throw in the garbage bowl or the stove. That's where I threw that one. And then when I have it, when you're done, you might want to go back through it, like chop it some more. It's up to you. I want little baby onions here. If you're not going to be cooked in the pan like I like, you better be small, small, small. Chop, 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 chop. Some of you may have those crazy little choppers from Pampered Chef. Those things are pretty fun. I actually have one, but I don't show you guys because first of all, I hate cleaning it. So there's that. And then second of all, if you don't have one too, that's not very nice of me to not show you how to use one. You have one. Okay. Onion. Chopping, chopping. 
So much chopping. That's the only bad thing sometimes about soup night and salad night is all the chopping. But that's okay. We're getting real good out of our you guys. Professional choppers now. Okay. Oh, how dare you escape. Come back, giant onion. Hey, this is a ton of onion. I'm having an onion moment. You guys, here's what I like about cooking. You do what you want. I'm starting to feel like this is a ton of onion and maybe I don't want that much onion on my cheese. So I might not use it all. And I get to decide that. So, uh-oh, Elizabeth, <laughs> sorry. So, um, if you decide that you want a ton of onion, go for it. If you're deciding that it looks like too much onion, do what you want. It's your dinner. You have to eat it, so you should make it how you like it. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Elizabeth. It's starting to go. Cleaning the onion chopper does chop. Yes, it does. And I hear you, Louie. <laughs> I used to be like that. Oh, I'm starting. Here they go. The eyes are going. The eyes are going. Maybe I'm not going to use this. Maybe I'm just going to cut this up for my breakfast. Maybe tomorrow's going to be that kind of breakfast day. Sometimes I make really good breakfast. Oh, I've seen those, Karen. I just saw one of those for the first time yesterday, those drawstring choppers. Those things are pretty cool. Okay, this is for my breakfast. I'm just going to get that onion container right back out of the dish. So remember guys, you use what you want. I've decided this is too much onion for my bread. Oh, I am just, can Missy come over here and clean my floor, Amanda? <laughs> All right. Before I wash my hands, I'm gonna grab all these, um, all these onions and put it in with my butter. And then I'm gonna wash my hands and my cutting board. You guys can use your knife as a little scraper, it's kind of fun. Just be safe. Oh yeah, okay guys, I got you, I got you. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands, my eyes. Oh, Hi, Lord. We are going to use this knife. Okay. I realize I didn't chop as much onion as all of you, so you might still be chopping and that's just fine. But when you're done, give me an O, baby. Give me an O. Ah, and all we have to do is do some seasoning and we are done, baby. Nice, you guys. Look at you guys. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Nice. These are good. <laughs> oh, whoa. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Ooh. 
13, whoop, whoop. 14, 15. Those are awesome. Mm -hmm. Shh. Mom, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, 19, 21. We're close. We're good. You guys are good. Those are awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to start gathering, gathering the stuff I didn't gather before. Okay. So I'm going to get my minced garlic. Good job, Joshy. I'm going to get my minced garlic out of the fridge. Really yummy. Yeah. Minced garlic. I'm going to get poppy seeds and seasoning salt. My seasoning salt is like from World War II, I swear to God. Um, and then ground mustard and lemon juice. Yeah. Brown mustard, lemon juice. Dijon mustard will work. Why not? Why not? Good, Amanda. <laughs> All right. Then let's get our, um, what are they called? Our measuring devices. Actually, all we need is a half a teaspoon. Is that true? Wow, a half a teaspoon. Maybe. There's one. Ooh. It always makes me laugh how you guys can probably come to my house and know where everything is. <laughs> so half a teaspoon, except for maybe the garlic. Let me see. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll just do it last. Those two last. Okay, so let's review. Half a teaspoon. That's it. <laughs> Your bowl of stuff. That's all you need for tools. Then we have seasoning salt, poppy seeds, ground mustard. I'm like, what is this called? Lemon juice and garlic. That's it. So I'm gonna measure these in the order, not in the order I wrote them down. That's fine, Mark, um, because of the way I want to use my measuring spoon. I just want to use my one measuring spoon. So you guys can follow this or you can follow me. You're just going to use this a bunch. I'm just going to do my liquid last because I want to. So I'm going to start with my seasoning salt, half a teaspoon. Oh, that was crazy. Come here. Come on, baby. There we go. Everything's going in the bowl. And put your stuff away when you're done, friends, so you don't have to deal with it. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Okay. Poppy seeds is one and a half. This is the only thing that's not, um, you know what I'm trying to say, right? It's not half, it's one and a half which means you have to do three. Don't look, mom, I used to be a There we go. Brand new poppy seeds as of this morning. So if you're using a half a teaspoon, you're gonna do three scoops. One, two, can you see that, Jack? Three. Jack's really good about putting this stuff in the chat for you guys. So if you miss an ingredient, Look in the chat, Jack's typing as we speak. Okay, ground mustard or yellow mustard or Dijon mustard or whatever you got. Half a teaspoon. Oh, it's a little, oh, sorry, Jack. <laughs> Is that horrible? Brown mustard, lemon juice. Sorry. 
Um, and then now I'm going to do my garlic and my lemon juice because now, now it's going to get messy on my spoon. So I'm going to do garlic because I'm going to scoop in here. So for the garlic, you need two cloves worth. On my jar, it says half a teaspoon Aha. equals one clove. So I'm going to do two scoops. How can I help you? Are you just like repeating what I said? One and a half teaspoon poppy seed, two cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon seasoned salt, half a teaspoon ground mustard, and half a teaspoon lemon juice. Did that help a little? Um, we need this later, garlic. We do. We will need our minced garlic later, so I'm just gonna leave it out. And then lemon juice is just half a teaspoon. So the only thing that wasn't half a teaspoon was the garlic and the poppy seed. You got the big enough jug of lemon juice? And then I'm gonna get a spoon. We're not gonna stir it yet because we're gonna melt it, but I'm just getting it ready. So what we're gonna do is heat this baby up, melt the butter, stir it, put it on our bread. So I'm gonna do it, so I'm right here with you. I'm gonna start at 30 seconds. And while it's cooking, I'll tell you the measurements again. Poppy seeds, teaspoon and a half, or three scoops if you're using the half a teaspoon. Minced garlic, two cloves worth. For me, that was two scoops. Um, seasoned salt, half a teaspoon. Ground mustard, half a teaspoon. And lemon juice, half a teaspoon. I love it when it's that easy. And everything got put away, it's gone. It's gone. And guess what? We need a half a teaspoon later. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make it right here with my knife. Okay, 30 seconds is what it did. Nope, nope, not even close. I'm back in. Ooh, those onions. <laughs> if your eyes, eyes weren't watering earlier. Sorry, that's a mess, Jack. I'll do better on the, uh, the soup. Actually, the soup is like nothing but vegetables. <laughs> it's literally nothing but vegetables. Cheese. Here we go. Oh, why did I just move that? No, mine wasn't either, Elizabeth. So I did 30 more. Nope. So mine's a little melty but not all the way. I'm gonna mix it around because sometimes with butter, if you mix it around, it ends up melting just because you mix it. Ooh, the smells coming out of this little bowl. Mm. Dang, baby. Dang, baby. What is that? Get out of my bowl. Yeah, if I stir it, the butter is finishing melting. So I'm just gonna do that. But if you need to put it back in the micro for a little bit, I would do like 10 or 15. If you've already done two 30 seconds, I would just do like 15 seconds. Woo! All right, friends. And then we're just gonna spoon this over our bread. Yeah, baby. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna let it drizzle. What is this? <laughs> okay. Well, this is pretty heavenly. Ah. 
Make sure you kind of, you know, put it in the layers with the cheese. Okay. Alrighty, friends. I think that's gonna be all she wrote. I'm just gonna like use a piece of bread to scrape off my spoon. <laughs> Get all the goodness. Yeah, baby. All right. Wowie, wowie, wowie. You saw too much? <laughs> well, then I guess you just have to do it. Okay. Love it. And then we're just gonna wrap it in our tin foil. Okay, let's tuck it. I gotta tuck the sides. <laughs> All right, little loaf of bread. So, I'm gonna set it. We can turn our ovens on now. Um, we have a lot of chopping to do for our soup, so we'll be good. My goal is, my goal is the bread is done when the soup is done. The bread cooks for 40 minutes, but we also have a lot of chopping. So we're going to turn our ovens on to 350. And then I'm just going to let it sit there for a bit. And that is our bread. Are you guys so excited to eat it? I am. Cannot wait. Woo. All right. We're gonna have, um, yeah, so let me tell you this. I try to make it when we're cooking together that we don't really have like waiting time while something's cooking, right? We're gonna have that tonight because the soup has to cook for 20 minutes. And normally that's what I would have done the bread, but the bread cooks for 40 minutes. <laughs> so then your soup would be done and your bread would be in the oven for like half hour. So that's just not how we did it. So 350, 350, oh here, let me just go like this. Yes, after the melted butter, putting it in the middle. No, I just put all my stuff in with the butter, Amanda. If you have it in two separate bowls, that's fine. But everything's in one bowl. Everything's in one bowl, butter and all the stuff and just microwave it. 30 seconds and then 30 seconds. Yes, put it. Do I put this on the bread or do I put this on the bread? Those are the same choices, Joshi. You put the butter mix all over the bread. Just spoon it all over the bread. And then wrap it in foil. 350. There's your temperature. So tonight we will have some downtime together so we can chat or you guys can go. We'll see how we feel when we get there. What I'm gonna do is, I know you guys are still spooning, mixing, it's all good. I'm gonna get myself a mixing bowl. Yeah, a mixing bowl. So, when your bread is wrapped, do I let the oven sit? Um, yeah, I mean, it's got to preheat, so let it preheat. It takes about five, 10 minutes. So when your bread is wrapped and your oven is heating, give me an S. That means you are ready to start making some soup. Woohoo! One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! No problem, friend. This is gonna be good, good, good. Oh, six, seven. I was like, wait, what number was I on? 
Are you guys just so excited about this bread? Mmm. Eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. You already did that, Tommy. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Three fifty. Well, I feel like I need that other light on. Hey, here I am. Yeah, do your broth, Elizabeth. Oh, I lost count, you guys. My chicken's in the fryer, and it's like bedtime. Hold on, I gotta go. Hold on. Sorry, chicken emergency. Yeah, but I was just standing here like we're in, we're in a waiting moment. <laughs> our favorite chicken, and she's like this tiny little fluff ball of a thing. She goes under our fence. Yeah, sure. She goes under our side fence and goes in the front yard. She's like Houdini, and then she doesn't always <laughs> like. Are you gonna make it back? Oh, sorry. Are you gonna make it back there? <laughs> I always worry. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here she is. <laughs> She's so cute. Connie, you good girl? You're lost. You're supposed to be in the back. Daniel. Bye. Sleep good. <laughs> Chicken life. <laughs> All right, we're at 15, 14, 15. <laughs> it's just ridiculous around here. It's just ridiculous. Chickenlandia. Yes, he is. <laughs> he loves my meat. We all idolized it, you do. Really right. <laughs> all right. Are you doing acrobatics? Um, when your oven is ready, you can put it in. Mine's not ready yet. It's still heating. So it's just sitting right here. All right, friends. Mixing bowl. We're going to dump our chopped veggies in as we go. We still have our giant knife. We're going to gather some veggies. We're going to gather two pieces of celery, two large carrots. Start with that. Two carrots. One. One. Get out. One, two. What's on? Okay, it's going in for 40 minutes. 40. 350 degrees. The onion mark, it was chopped and in with the butter, in with all the stuff. It was all in one bowl. So if you didn't do that, and it's already, and you put your stuff on your bread, just sprinkle it all over your bread. That would be fantastic. 350 for 40 minutes. <laughs> and it's sitting right here. If you look up and you're like, what did she say? It's right here. 350, 40 minutes. Okay. I'm also getting a vegetable peeler and a potato. I'm starting to feel like this might not be a big enough bowl. I think I need a bigger bowl. Might not. Okay. 
two carrots, two celery, and a potato. For now. For now. I'm gonna wash. We gotta wash all this stuff. It all literally grows dirt. So give yourself a scrub with your potatoes. Make sure you scrub in the little in the little holes. Three fifty. It's right there. Three fifty. Okay. Oh, good. So, we wash the veggies. We got a potato peeler. Some of us have bread in the oven. I have a lot of clothes on. <laughs> I look like a no man. Eskimo. Okay, so let's start with let's start with the potato. We don't do potatoes very often, so let's start with the potato. We're gonna peel this baby. Vegetable peeler. Are we ready? I feel like most of you guys are ready. We got S's. So, right. Vegetable peeler, potato. When you peel your vegetables, you push away from your body. That way you don't cut your finger or your hand that's holding the vegetable. So hold the peeler, push hard, push down, away. This is not my garbage bowl. <laughs> my vegetable bowl. <laughs> Oopies. What is S? Oh, S is means you're ready to make soup. I think you even did that already. Right? So we are peeling a potato. My potato is like pear shaped. Mm -hmm. ah. Just try and get most of the skin off. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not going to be perfect. Okay. We're going to use our peeler again. So, and keep it there. If you have the small potatoes, Elizabeth, you don't have to peel them if you don't want to. You can leave the skin on. It's up to you. All right, friends. Oh, good. You guys are ready. Good, Karen. Okay, Dennis, put the potato. So, I'm just going to talk. You guys keep peeling. I'm just going to talk. With the potato, we're kind of going to cut it like we cut the cheese, really. You're just going to hold it nice and still and do big slices. When it starts to roll around on you, which this is doing now, I'm just going to lay it down on its flat side and cut this into slices. The thing about potatoes is I would cut them kind of smallish, but also you want them to be about the same size. Because if you have one piece of potato that's like this big and one that's like this big, this one's going to cook and this one's not going to be done yet. So cut them about the same size. How big are mine? Eh, mine are this big. Sure, sure. And these are going in our in the bowl. Make sure you put it in the right bowl. <laughs> I'm just gonna take one slice, put it in the little chunks. Turn it the other way and do it again. If when you're tossing them in your bowl, you realize, oh, that piece is really big. Just cut it down a little bit. 
I think I just got an Amazon delivery and it was really creepy because all of a sudden it was just like a guy walking out my window. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I think it was Amazon. What else would it be? I love my Amazon. Okay. As my pieces get smaller, I do less, less chunks. So this one was, um, if, yeah, I would, yeah, you still want to cut them up, Elizabeth, because you need them to cook. This piece I only cut it in half and then into chunks. The other ones I cut into thirds. Yeah, small potatoes, still cut them up. Fine. Extra. Huh? Okay. Potato. Woo! I want to wash my hands. Potatoes are like this weird slimy. I think it's the starch in them or something. Next up, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Don't worry, I'm just talking. Next up, we're going to do the carrots. That way we can use our peeler again and then just get rid of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like to read my recipe a hundred thousand times. Okay, all right. Shall we carry? I know some of you guys go faster than me, so I'm going to start working on carrots. We're going to peel them. Let me use the right bowl. We're going to peel them just like we did the potato. Pushing down, you do about half or a little more than half, and then turn it around and do the other end. Don't try and do the whole length of the carrot at once. That would just be really hard. Uh, all the potato, one whole potato. That's what's going to make, so this recipe is a healthy broccoli cheese soup because it doesn't use a lot of dairy and butter and whatnot. The potato is what helps make it creamy. So we got to have potato. So once your carrots are peeled, if you're peeling, you're done with your peeler. You're welcome. And then with your carrots, again, you guys, I'm just talking. We're all right here. I got you. With your carrots, you're going to chop off the ends, chop off the other end. Make sure you use the right bowl. Uh, little pieces, Joshi, of the potato. Mine are like this big. Little pieces. And with the carrots, you're just going to chunk them up. Everything's going in a blender or a food processor, so it just needs to be small enough to cook. And about the same size. So you don't want some giant and some small. Loud. huge. When you get to the end of your carrot, mine are just really big, so I'm going to cut them in half. So they're closer in size to the front of my carrot. If you're still cutting a potato and you see me working on my carrot, please don't worry. It's fine. I will not go past veggies without you. I will not. For those of us that are ready to cut carrot, here we go. Remember, you're going to cut the end, the nubby ends off your carrot, and the tippy pointy ends. Okay. 
guess I didn't need this giant bowl after all. It looked really small. Whatever. Okay. Here, done. Two carrots, one potato. How much does the recipe feed? About four people is what it says. It says four. I'm assuming that's like four decent bowls of soup. And then also you have all that bread. So we'll do pretty good. I'm going to just list our veggies on here in case anyone missed it. One potato, two carrots, two celery. That's what's happening right now. Okay. I'm gonna wait a second, then I'm gonna talk celery. What's this stuff called? Well, I think it's a potato. No, it's not the potato. Celery, onion, and carrot together. It's got some crazy like French name. You like cook it and it does a thing. What's it called, mom? What's it called, people? What's it called, people that are like chefy? Yeah, how do you say that? Oh, look, there's two. Iripoi, menage, menage. I don't know how to say those. You guys have to write them in like English, like phonetic. <laughs> I don't even know how to say cumin until the beginning of quarantine. <laughs> Mirapoi, Mirapoi. Oh, okay. We're not using that, but I knew it was a thing. I was reading a recipe and it's like, make the Mirapoi. And I'm like, what? Pois, Mirapoi. See, you have to do it. It's phonetic. Mirepoix. <laughs> it's like, make the mirepoix and then la la la. And I'm like, what? Oh, Trinity. There's three. <sighs> Thank you. I knew there was like kitchen ladies out there that knew this stuff. <laughs> Maybe some kitchen men. Maybe. All right, let's talk celery real quick. My least bit. The Holy Trinity. Okay, so that's where celery came from. That's funny. Celery. It's got this big white part at the bottom and sometimes has this little weird stuff at the top. We're gonna cut that off and then we're just gonna chop up our celery. Chop up the big bottom. Oh, with your celery, it's a rainbow, right? Lay it down like a rainbow because if you lay it this way, it's gonna rock, rock and roll. So lay it down with the roundy part up. Boom, baby. It ain't going nowhere. Chop. Use the right bowl. Chop. And now it's sitting here like a little rainbow. We're just going to chop it up. Oh, well, then go for it, Mom. She says the celery, celery tops are great in the soup. Go for it. I don't need any extra celery. Well, tell me it doesn't have a flavor because you just said it was good in the soup. I remember that line. When I was a kid, celery doesn't have flavor. Yes, it does. Hey, chopped up celery in the bowl. Second piece. Chunk off the big top, big bottom. And just chop that baby up. And this one's the fun one. You can just do the rocky with the, the nose down of your knife. Chop it down, lift it up, boom, boom, and just kind of push, push, push your celery. Push, push, push. It makes me feel so professional. Professional chopper, baby. Okay, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Veggies. Of course, we still need to do broccoli and onion, but we got the oh, Trinity Mirepoix. <laughs> Oh, and a potato. We got that part out of the way. So when you're done with, oh, you're right, Elizabeth. 
And um, when you're done with those three veggies, potato, carrot, celery, give me a B in the chat for veggie. And we will do the next part. My hand smells like celery. Oh. Gross, gross, gross. Um, potatoes, I did mine small. I mean, they're like, they're kind of the size of my um, carrots and celery. They're just little cubers. Oh, God, this is all. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> all right. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine. Good. I just feel like I want to like mark it. Oh, I shouldn't look away. Nine. Shannon's nine. Okay. Check, check, check. Okay, we're going to do that. And that. Bye, Jack. Thank you. Haley will take over, which won't be too much. Have fun. You can probably come back. <laughs> Ten. Nice, Katina. Okay. Next up, we have two more things to chop, everybody. And then all we have to do is cook. Isn't that exciting? Not too bad, not too bad. No, it's totally fine. That's how we do it anyways, Elizabeth. We have to do it in batches. It's kind of wacky, but it'll work. Nice, uh-huh, 11, 12. 11, 12. Oh, good. Mine is two. Well, I mean, mine is two, but you still want to do it in batches. Two pieces of celery, Joshi. Two pieces. Because when you blend hot soup, what happens with hot soup when you blend it is like it's already going to be hot, right? So there's got steam coming off of it. You know, just sitting in your pot, you got steam, right? So when you put it in the blender and you put a lid on it, now you've bottled up all that steam and it's pressure. So then when you blend it, it like makes more and more and more pressure. So it's like, you really gotta be like a little bit at a time <laughs> so you don't explode the blender. Good, Andrea, nice Kyosh. I think that's 13, 14 or something like that. 24 minutes left. Yes, this was like 22. Right there. Still on potatoes, Amanda? No carrots, no celery yet? You only do one potato. Maybe you had small ones. Okay, I know you'll catch up. Good job, Tommy. <coughs> There's still people working too, don't worry. Don't you worry. Okay, here we go, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You guys are giving me like extra letters. Oh, I got it. Carrot, <laughs> potato, celery, carrot. Thanks, Janie. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Very good. Um, Joshi, is your B a V? They're right next to each other, huh? So it is. It's a V. It's a V. <laughs> That's funny. Now, like, my brain had to work and I lost count. <laughs> I can only hold one thought at a time, apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nice. Uh-huh. That's 19. 
All right, so there's just a couple of you out there. Just a couple. So keep working. If you're working, keep working. Don't stop working. We're going to get out the broccoli and our last onion. Broccoli. I have a ton of broccoli because I needed some for the house. So don't worry about it. And because I know you guys pay attention, I'm going to put some vegetables on to cook for my children. So if you're wondering about the extra pot, it's for my children. They're not going to eat this soup. Onion. Okay, so we have an onion and we have some broccoli. I have a lot of broccoli. So we only need four cups of broccoli. So I'm just going to get a king daddy out. Thank you, Haley. Um, and my measuring cup happens to go to four, so we're good. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these, maybe three. I'm gonna grab three for now, see what happens. We'll need these right here. And I'm gonna give them a little rinsey, rinse my broccoli. For our broccoli, we just really need the tops, the florets. So here's how I do it. Oh, good. If you already have florets, you're golden. You can just measure four cups. So what I do if I have this, if you have this, I just lay it down and I chop the stem off. I just chop right through the trunk. And then put them in your measuring cap. I feel like this is like, hi. And they can be a little bit big. Like this one's giant, so I'm gonna break it up. We are gonna blend it, you know, and cook it. So well, that wasn't enough. Next. The stems are really good for you. I don't like to eat them plain. Yeah, chop up your Brussels. I don't like to eat them plain. My husband does. But we like to chop them up and put them in like like a veggie mix, like a veggie mix on the stove and chop up the stem for the broccoli. It's really good. Oh, I almost got my four cups. There we go. I don't know, it's extra, it's fine. Okay, and this is going in the bowl with everything else. I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna chop up one for my children. So don't mind me. Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. I'm gonna save my broccoli. <laughs> All this way. All we have left to chop, my friends, is an onion. Yay! You will need your giant measuring cup again, so I'm just gonna leave it out. Woohoo! 
Last veggie to chop. Bow, 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 bow. We are so good. Who did we lose? We lost somebody. We lost like three people besides Jack. That's okay. Hopefully they'll be back. All right. So. Uh, before we get the onion done, thank you, Karen. Before we get the onion done, I'm going to get out my soup pot. We need a lid. We need a lid. That's okay, Elizabeth. Don't worry. Pot lid. And the reason we're going to do that is we cook the onion first. It's actually in the recipe, you guys. It's not just my idea. So we're going to cook the onion first. So I'm just going to get the pot ready. So much. There we go. There we go. Under control. Okay. Right. So friends. We're gonna chop an onion. Um, I know that some of you are still chopping in there and that's okay. That's okay. Um, because we're just gonna chop some more. So we're gonna chop up this baby onion. So if you're ready, come along with me. If you're not quite there, you'll get there and that's fine. So I'm gonna chop the head off this onion. I'm gonna chop the tail. Ooh, I go loose in here. Chop the tail off this onion. I'm gonna chop it in half. And then I'm gonna peel it. You guys know the deal. Good, Dashi. Good job. So all of the vegetables listed here, one potato, two carrots, two celery, and four cups of broccoli is all in one bowl. Just sitting on the side, waiting its turn. And now we're gonna peel an onion. It's not going in that bowl. I'm just gonna get it ready for soup time. Get the skin off. Now, Elizabeth, I don't want you to worry. You're like always the first one done chopping. So I know you'll catch up. All right, friends, for this onion, you do not have to chop it as small as we did before because it's going in a blender. So I'm just gonna chop the rainbows. Go down one side, make sure your onion is laying flat on your cutting board. My hand's getting tired. We've been chopping. There we go. Big rainbows. I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm going to do it again. Chop, chop. 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 Copy. There we go. Let's let that sit there. You guys are like onion professionals at this point, huh? <laughs> Almost every week. Okay, big old chunks of onion. All right, friends, last veggie. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 minutes on my bread. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Yay, good job, ladies. Good job, Joshi. So, I'm just talking. We're gonna put some oil in the pan. Just a little bit of oil. It's about a tablespoon. If you wanna measure, you can. I never measure, I just sprinkle. A little bit of oil. 
we're gonna cook our onion. So I do kind of want to stir this together. So when your onion is chopped and you are ready to start making soup, you know. And Hermiana, if you're still chopping other vegetables, I would chop your onion because that has to cook for a while on its own. So chop your onion real quick and then you can go back to your other veggies while your onion's cooking. All right. One, two. Omin's onion is cut. Veggies are ready. And we're gonna start making us some soup. Minced garlic is going to be, I don't know, two cloves. <laughs> Not quite ready for it yet. Two cloves. All right, here we go. Let me read, read, excuse me, read some O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway done with onion. Yeah, baby. Oh no, more than that. 11, 12. Nice. 13. Woo! Yeah, they're awesome. I'm going to have a sip of water. If you have not yet put oil in your pan, put oil in your pan. Crack. Crack. Woo, you guys, we are so good. Okay, prepping, prepping. Mm -hmm. Trying to write neat. It's hard. Okay. How much oil? Just about a tablespoon, a little sprinkle. Here, I'm using onion powder. Um, you're fine. If you're ready, you're ready, girl. All right. I think we're almost here. I love to go read my O's again, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 14 onions, 15 onions. <laughs> good, good, good. So we got oil in the pan. We got onions chopped. Some of you are finishing your chopping. Good, good, good. 15, 16, or 14, 15, something like that. I think there's like five of you out there chopping onions. So, in just a minute, I'm going to tell you the next step. This is almost it, friends. We are about to just like pot and cook. Oh, I got six minutes on my bread. So, if you made bread, good, Joshy, and get out your hot pack so that you're ready when your timer goes off. And you're gonna want something to make sure veggies around with. I think I'll use this little baby. Get yourself a little spoon of some sort to mix it all up with. And I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Amanda, I got you if you need me. Okay. All right, friends. So we're gonna turn the oven on to. Medium. So that is either five or that's medium or it's the middle line. It's one of those things. We're just going to let it heat for just a little bit. It's like 30 seconds or so. Stove is on medium. All right. 
We have burner oil hot. That's what's happening. And I'm feeling good about it. Let's put our, oh, sorry, stove, burner, whatever. Um, appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to put our onion in the pot with the oil, which is on the stove. It's not in the oven. Come on out, onion. Come on out. All righty. I'm going to rinse my hands. I'm not even going to mix it yet. I'm going to rinse my hands and wipe this off. And then I'm going to mix my onions around. And we are done with our big night, my friends. So you can get rid of that too. Hi. Look at us go. Okay. Now you can make sugar oven room. What do I put in your pan? Some oil. You said you had your oil ready. Some oil in your pan and some onion. That's it. That's what we got going on in here. An onion pan. So. We're gonna let these in cook for a little bit. And we're gonna get the rest of our stuff ready. Thanks, Amy. Okay. So we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready so that all we have to do is like dump, dump, dump. So we are gonna need broth, either vegetable or chicken broth, beef, or whatever you got. Broth. Two cups of it. I have some already made from before. If you have like the little container with the twisty, uh-huh, or a can, whatever, a broth, that's great. We're also gonna have two cups of milk. I'm gonna use almond milk. <gasps> or do I wanna use oat milk? I don't know. Oh, every once in a while, stir your onions. We're also going to need the garlic that's hopefully just sitting out. So I'm just going to bring it over here. When you measure liquid, make sure you look at the side of your measuring cup to make sure that it's at the line you want. So two cups of milk, two cups of broth. Just at the ready. This is not going in your pot. Do not put this in your pot. Once in a while, stir your onions. Okay. The only other things we need to get ready are salt, pepper, and garlic. So, ah, my bread. When your bread timer goes off, my friends, we do not freak out. We don't go, oh, the timer. We don't do that. It's fine. Just stop what you're doing and get your bread when it's ready. Don't freak out. I'm going to look at it. Here. 
Okay, let's talk about the bread. It looks so good. So you just, it cooks till the cheese is melted. That's what the recipe says. So I just opened my foil and I saw the cheese was melted and I freaked out a little bit because I was excited. And then I'm closing it back up to stay warm. So it's staying in the foil, in the pan, closed up. I'm turning off my oven. Turning And I'm getting my salt and pepper. I didn't do that yet. So all we're doing, friends, all we're doing is we got onions cooking and we're just gathering. We're just gathering. If you're like, ah, I didn't measure yet. It's fine because we didn't pour it in yet. So just make sure you have your stuff. We're getting out milk. We're getting out broth. We're getting out salt, pepper, and garlic. That's it. Oh, I didn't want garlic on here. Oh, that's good. That's okay. And we should still have our half a teaspoon laying here. If you put away your half a teaspoon, get it back. Get it back, get it back. And every once in a while, we're stirring onion. So what we are looking for with these onions is just nice and translucent. Ooh, big word. Which just means they're getting kind of clear. The next thing that's going to go in is the garlic. So I'm just taking the lid off. That's all I'm doing. I got my half a teaspoon. That's all I'm doing. I'm just hanging out. The onions are getting real close. Are you guys getting close? You already put the broth in the broth in the pot. That's okay. It's just a little early. We don't want anything in the pot except the onions. But don't take it out. It's fine. Just don't add anything else yet. Nothing in the pot. Everything's just sitting here. See if you're ever wondering, did she put her milk in? Just look up. Do you see my milk? In yet. Sure, sure. All right, friends. Next thing in when your onions are looking good, a half a teaspoon of garlic. And I didn't write that on here, but I will now. But I just don't want it to be confusing. Sorry, not half a teaspoon. Two. Two scoops of garlic. Or if you're using whole garlic, it's two cloves. And you're gonna give that a little stir. Here's where it gets exciting, friends. Here's where it gets real exciting. In less than one minute, if you're caught up with me, you are going to put everything in the pot. So when you ask me later, what happened with the potato? What happened with the blah, blah, blah? It's in the pot, okay? So half a, half a teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of garlic, let's put some garlic. garlic. And then here's our list. We're gonna spin this around. everything in the pot so all the veggies all of them in the pot put the bowl in the sink get it out of your way two cups of broth in the pot that's a 
made that quiet, y'all. <laughs> you don't need this anymore. Two cups of milk in the pot. And then all we have left is some salt and pepper. And it says half a teaspoon of each. So why not? We have it out. Why not, right? Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. That's it. My counter is clean. I've used all my ingredients. We'll stir this baby up. Oh, we're done with our measuring spoon. Stir this baby up. And then we're gonna cover it. All right, we're gonna put this lid on. And we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. Um, Amanda, all the veggies, onion in the pot with a little bit of oil. That's what you gotta do. Cook your onion, did you cut your onion? I think you did, I hope you did. Onion in the pot with a little bit of oil. So after you get all the things in the pot, all the things, put the lid on and I'm gonna turn it down to like two, two. And this is where maybe it gets a little boring because now we just have to let our soup cook. <laughs> we could have made more, but sometimes I feel like we make a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna dump out my garbage bowl We're gonna hang out. I'm gonna tell you, girlfriend, I'm gonna tell you, but I don't wanna give too much information at once because not everybody's caught up and I don't want people to get nervous. So, once you have all of your veggies in the pot, you have garlic, onion, broccoli, carrot, potato, celery, all in the pot. You have two cups of broth. You have two cups of milk. You have some salt and some pepper. After you do that, you can put the lid on and you're turning it down, down to like two-ish with the lid on. So once you're there and we're just waiting, we need a new letter. Let's do W. W means we're waiting. And then we'll discuss what's next. That's pretty much the work is done. Isn't that exciting? Woo, look at you guys. Look at you guys. Hang out. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Everybody that's got the W, set your timer for 20 minutes. That's what it says, but we'll revisit. We'll revisit. Thanks, Annie. Cool. You guys are awesome. I gotta go count W's. It's always funny who capitalizes and who doesn't capitalize. It's like a, it's like a um, social experiment. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five. I already lost count, you guys. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Rock stars. Hermanda, little oil in the pot, onions in the pot. <laughs> Once your onions get cooky, like a little, you know, clearish, translucent, shimmery, shiny, and softish, that's when you're going to start dumping everything in. Nice, really. 17. Yeah, you guys are awesome. 
Okay. Let's talk about what is next, shall we? Let's discuss. So we can totally hang out. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here hanging out. You guys are welcome to hang out. Let's we'll hang out and talk about food. Um, but I'm going to tell you what to do in case you don't want to hang out and watch me talk to everybody. What's going to happen next is when the timer goes off, we're going to check these veggies and see if they're soft. I'm probably, you guys know me, I'm going to play with my food in a little bit because I have to, and it doesn't feel like there's a lot of liquid. Uh, mine doesn't, that's what I was just going to say, mom. My liquid does not cover my veggies, which is why the lid is on, right? So it's like steaming and doing the things. So, um, so I'm going to check mine in a little bit because I'm a little worried about my liquid situation because we need liquid soup. Um, 20 minutes, Joshi. Um, so we're going to check it and we're going to make sure our potatoes especially and, you know, all our veggies are soft. We're just going to get a fork. We're going to stab it. That's what we're going to do. Once it's all soft, that's when it gets really exciting. And you can either use your blender, your food processor. There's a crazy thing called an immersion blender that you like stick in the pot and like, Nyarr. I don't have one. They look pretty cool. I don't know if I need one in my life. I have no storage, but they look pretty fun. So I'm going to use a blender. There she is. And I'm probably going to have to do it in batches because like we talked about before, when you put the lid on a hot beverage, the steam is building up pressure and it can blow your lid off. And I really don't want to know that you guys blew your lid off your blender and you ended up with soup all over your cabinets. <laughs> that would be a mess. It would be a nightmare. So we're going to do it in batches. And I must have left the immersion. Oh, probably. Did I have one? <laughs> Anyways, um, it's up to you how creamy or chunky you leave your soup, right? Like one of these recipes I looked at, they had you take the broccoli out and then blend it and then put the broccoli back in. And I was like, no, that's not how we're going to do it. So my child's making fun of me. So anyways, um, I'm going to just take it out in batches and I might leave it a little chunky or maybe I won't blend it till it's puree. It's up to you. That part's up to you. But you don't do the cheese. I should put them on camera. You don't put the cheese in until you're done blending and everything goes back in the pot. It's just sitting here like doing my movements. <laughs> Teenagers. Anyways, so um, that's what happens next. We're letting our soup cook. We're going to smush it up in a blender or in a food processor or with the thingy. Yeah, take your cheeses and then put it back in the pot, mix in the cheese, and you're ready to go. So that is our soup. So this was my dilemma about the bread, right? Because we could have the bread cooking still, but now we could just eat the bread. <laughs> so there's that. All right, you guys. So you're going to cook those veggies until they're nice and soft. It took mine almost half an hour because I had to turn the heat up and I just kept checking them. So you're going to cook those veggies so you can stick a fork nice and soft into your potatoes, into your carrots. You want them all soft. And then I used a blender. Bye, Elizabeth. So. I used a blender and I'm a measuring cup. I put in some veggies and some liquid for sure out of the pot in my measuring cup, dumped that in my blender. I did not fill it up. Do not fill it up. I just filled it to like here, less than half, and then blended it for about 15 seconds. And you just look at it. If you want it chunky, then you're good. If you want it really creamy, blend it a little bit longer. And then I just dumped it back in the pot and I scooped out some more and I did it again. I just kept going until I ran out of chunks. And now I'll show you what it looks like. Here's my soup. Nice and creamy. And then if you want to mix in some cheese, you mix in some cheese. So the recipe calls for a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. So if you'd like to use cheddar cheese, that's great. I use what's called nutritional yeast. It's a non-dairy, non-gluten, all kinds of healthy stuff. Cheese replacement, it's very strange. 
It's this powder. It's very strange, but it tastes really good. And then don't eat it out of the bag though. And then the other thing I use is this non-dairy cheese because yum. And you're just gonna mix some of that in a cup and a half, cup and a half of cheese. Mix it in till it melts. And you are good to go, my friends. So enjoy your dinner. Thanks for cooking with me. And I'll see you guys soon.